So I want to use some black. Um, and what I do is you take a page and you go three times the height of the page. So that's one, two, three. And I'm starting with my last signature, so the third signature. Let me thread this. Now here you have the option of either having your final threads hanging out from this side or in the middle, and some people like it in the middle and they leave it an extra longer so they can hang, hang dangles and stuff. I prefer it the opposite. So I want my, I'm coming in from the back side in because I prefer the dangles, I mean, pardon me, the where you tie off on the outside. So I start in the middle. And then I go down. You can go down or up, it really doesn't matter. Oops, sorry. You also gotta make sure, I always forget this. Um, you want to be sewing it into your um, attachment. This is what's gonna attach it to the book cover. So, in the middle, first. Okay, where'd you go? Come on. Hmm. What's going on? there and then the middle Ooh. and because I'm doing my third page first I'm on this first line so now we're going to go out here and then through here And then I'm going to come all the way to the top and go in here. Always easy to get this, but And now we're going to go back down through the middle. And when you come up, wow, what have I done? Two, three. Sorry, guys, I think something's wrong with the holes here. They're not lining up at all. Okay. Try this again. Holes all wrong. That's why you have Tyvek because when you get them wrong, like I just did. The tie that doesn't tear. So now I can punch a hole beside it and no one still 
going to be okay. So now let's try that again. All right. So you're going to come up through this hole this time. So that's centered. And then in through the middle. And this big Wow. Let's make sure this is, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. That center hole is still off by the look of it. I'll work with it. get my holes very well. And then back down through the middle. This time when you come up through the middle, you want to make sure if the string is on this string is on this side, this time you want the string to come up on the opposite side. Okay. I'm going to tighten everything down. Make sure it's tight there, tight there. And then we're going to tie a knot. That's going to be, I'm going to stick that down, but you won't see it. So that's the third signature. Then. Now we want to go for the second signature, and I do, that's the first. Yeah, my holes are out. That's one, this one. That's right. This hole should be... This hole should be up. So the upper hole on all of them. Okay. So, same thing. Maybe it'll be better in this one. Three times the length. One, two, three. to the outside, so there, and then into the center.
These heart are coming in one way than the other. Okay. Ouch. Okay, and before I go down, I already see I went in the wrong hole here. back down through the middle. This time we want to make sure that our needle is to the opposite side. The strings on this side. This time I want it to be like this side. So you've got the string coming out on this side and this string on this side. Tighten everything down. Oops. And I tie it three times. Two. Three. All right. Last one. Make sure when you're putting these on that they're always facing the, the right way, that they're not upside down.
string is. So they should all be sewn in and they should be facing the right, right way. So that is your signature block. Okay, so now what I do is find the center. So I like to, uh, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> so we want the signature block to go in there, but I want this to be hollow backed. So I don't want to attach it directly to the spine. I want the spine to be floating. So what you do here is you're only going to be attaching this flap and this flap. They're going to lay down on there. So what you gotta do is you kinda gotta hold it. Now we know we left it one eighth on top and one eighth on the bottom. So you wanna just lay it down on your spine. I don't know if I can do this. And you want everything kind of centered. So your your center of your spine should be the center of your for or your middle signature. And you know, you kinda gotta work top and bottom at the same time have everything centered, and then I find it easier to uh, draw some, holding it tightly, draw some little lines along this edge as guides. So we're about a little more than a quarter there. So I'm just watching up here my distance between this gusset and this signature. I don't know if you can see that. And that's where I'm marking. So that's my guide and I'm an eighth of an inch across on the bottom all the way along this, along here. I wanna be about an eighth of an inch away, top and bottom. So if I follow this edge along those two guide marks, when I go to lay it down, I should be about an eighth of an inch all the way, and I don't know if you can see it, but it, it is. It's, it's pretty straight, and it's about an eighth of an inch. So that's what you want. So we're gonna prep, prep these pieces. And I like to use Tape for this but one of the things I also like doing is having cheesecloth sticking out of this thing and I generally hmm, do, trying to think if it's usually off of where I do that <laughs> it's been a while um, I want it on this. 
Okay. I will come back with another video. Okay, so what I've done is I've added a little piece because I like the look of the cheesecloth hanging out the top. I don't know if I've kind of put that on a little sooner than I wanted, but I still haven't really decided what I want to do for my cover. I don't know that I'm going to wrap it all the way or just leave this black. Um, I'll figure that out later. So just in case I was going to leave it black and not wrap it in cheesecloth, I wanted that little piece of, um, I can't remember what they call that. They call it something. Um when there's this cloth or or whatever sticking out the top and bottom. Anyway, so I've done that. It's just cheesecloth. I've glued it in with some Fabri-Tac and distressed the ends. Okay, so then um, on your piece that's going to attach to the book, I've added two pieces of score tape and I've left about a quarter of inch, maybe three eighths of an inch from the string uh, on both sides because I don't want this to adhere to that spine. I want it to be an open back spine. Um, so I've added and taken the backing off there. And now I also want to add glue. So I am just going to use this glue in the middle. And we'll start with one side and then we'll work to the other. So this is the front. So you are just going to, I've got the guide marks already there. So I am just going to lay this down and I want to be about an eighth of an inch for the top and the bottom. So about an eighth of an inch is there. Follow my guide marks and just set that down on there. And I burnish the heck of it. And we will worry about the gussets uh, in the spine after we get the other side. And then this side, remove the tape backing. Um, I wouldn't treat this video as a tutorial. It's kind of shows you my process, but it's not um, specific enough as a tutorial, unless you're uh, well-versed in creating these journals. Then you can pretty much figure out what I've done here. So, All right, this one I didn't put a guide because I just want to set it down and let it drop wherever it's gonna. And I'm kind of bringing the um, book cover up to it a little bit. Stick it down. Burnish that now. And now I'm going to take the rounded edge of my burnishing tool and I want to get down in that spine. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah. In the gusset of that spine, I want to push and get it to stick. So now when you open up the book, you see it's an open spine. I don't know if I did all of that on the <laughs> outside of the video camera or not, but yeah, I was just burnishing down in the spine there, in the gussets of the spine, trying to get everything to stick down in there. book with a rounded spine. And that's what I ended up with. 
So now when you open it up, I will, I don't know yet what I'm going to do in here. I'll probably just find one of my images here and stick it down. I'll keep it pretty simple anyway, but I'll cover all this. So you won't see all this mechanism. And when I cut the piece of paper to go in there, it will be flush with these edges here. You don't want them, like you don't want it to be half, you don't want it looking like that where you see. So you want to bring whatever you decide to do, you want it flush, top and bottom. So I'll probably do something and then put a little pocket down here too. I haven't quite decided, but. So that is how you build a junk journal. And then what I will do, this is what it looks like in the inserts. There was a natural crease in there, that's why it's there, but. Next time you see this, it's going to be decorated, finished, and I'm hoping also to have it housed in a case that I want to make for it. Um, I might just decorate it, finish it, show it to you, then uh, do the case, and then show you again once the case is finished and it's housed inside of it. Anyway, I hope you got something out of it. Um, I know I can make it look tough. It's not, and it's not as tough as it looks. <laughs> I was having a little bit of a struggle there with the sewing, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's just one of those things. So. Anyway, I hope you guys are inspired to try your own, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.